Children, so the Street Fighter 6 demo is out today. That's the plan. We're going to explore the Street Fighter 6 demo. So uh, let's get started right away. Uh, wish us luck. Children, it is I, your obedient servant, Sebastian St. Smalls, also known as Bennett. The plan for this one is, it's our first chance to take a look at the Street Fighter 6 demo. And no other plans, just uh, focusing on the Street Fighter 6 demo, see how that goes. Um, very excited. Uh, at this point, I know as much about it as you do, basically. We're going in fresh, so um, wish us luck. Wish us all luck. Actually, um, this is going to be boring to watch me do tutorials, so maybe we should do some Jurassic Park. Why not? Am I, like, why not? Um, Right. 
No, 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 I didn't want to do that. Trying to skip your stupid long-winded talking. I'm not trying to skip the whole tutorial. Considered that. 
and he kept thinking about one thing, the dark shapes that had crossed between the land cruisers even before the attack started. What animal had that been? Peter thinks of only one possibility, the little Tyrannosaur. I don't think so, Tim. Oh, enjoy. 
enjoy the festivities. If you're all about that Street Fighter life, the Battle Hub is the place to be. This is your game, Eternities, signing off. See ya! Time's coming, we'll be taking rockets to Mars. And yet you still got folks out there using their fists and bodies to seek strength. Yeah, I hear you, man. We're all a bunch of fools. But, you know, if you want to know about strength, you just got to get to it. We fighting fools are all getting to it on the streets. Any recruit? Kids, take a breather. Welcome. This is Buckler Security Services. I'm Luke, the coach around you. You're here for basic training, right? Okay. Keep you measured up. Size and your reach are all factors in fight. So check everything carefully. When it comes to athletic ability, men and women fight on equal footing. Remember that. Details later if you want anyway. Management guys 
always behaved the same. They never understood the technical issues, and they thought that screaming was the way to make things happen. And maybe it was, if you were shouting at your secretaries to get you... These to bodies see. can get hit more often. But screaming didn't make any difference. They also hit back easy. Sometimes, when you stare at your face long enough, I wonder if that beauty box always been there. a lot of time to decide or just throw something on it's your call your eye and hair color definitely says a lot about you Get your name either. That's important. Down over his back. General was still three feet away. 
So I've been thinking about strength, man. Strength. Might. The power to fight. Is it money? Authority. Not quite molding stress. Ready, Sam. Flashlight blinking off the crushed radio handset. And on the floor of the car, he saw something else. Something curved and black. The front doors were dented and jammed shut. But he climbed in through the back door. Body size and your reach are all factors in a fight. So, check everything when it comes to athletic ability. Men and women fight on equal footing. Remember that. Already done? Well, you can look over the details later if you want anyway. Bodies can get hit more often. They also hit back easy. Sometimes, when you stare at your face long enough, you wonder if that beauty mark's always been there. a lot of time to decide or just throw something on it's your call
movement of soft touch near the drain pipe or ring. He crouched again. Don't forget your name either. That's important. Christ generates dead. I don't know. Proceeding slowly, Muldoon moved farther toward the side of the road. And then they heard a wheezing sound. It was definitely a manual sound. Shoot, not even with the keyboard plugged in at the beginning. Well, let me give a name. It's just the wind generator said. They heard the wheezing again, distinctly this time. It wasn't the wind. It was coming from the foliage directly ahead of him, by the side of the road. It didn't sound like an animal, but Muldoon moved forward cautiously. He rattled his light and shouted, but the wheezing did not change character. Muldoon pushed aside the fronds of the path. What is it? Said. It's Malcolm Muldoon said. Even Malcolm laid on his back, his skin grey white, mouth slightly open. His breath came in wheezing gasps. Muldoon handed the flashlight to General and then went to examine the body. I can't find the injury, he said. Head open, chest, arms. Then General shone the light on the legs. He put a turning hay on. Malcolm's belt was twisted tight over the right thigh. General moved the light down the leg. The right ankle was bent outward at an awkward angle from the leg. The trousers flattened, soaked in blood. Muldoon touched the ankle gently, and Malcolm groaned. Muldoon stepped back and tried to decide what to do next. Malcolm might have other injuries. His back might be broken. It might kill him to lose him. But if they left him here, he would die of shock. It was only because he had had the presence of mind to put a tourniquet on that he had already bled to death. And probably he was doomed. They might as well move him. General helped Muldoon pick the man up, hoisting him awkwardly over their shoulders. Malcolm moaned and breathed in rapid gasps. Next he said. Next. Wait.
Yet again. Just in case we can't get in the world tour mode, I should do at least one match against the computer. Is that supposed to be his private joke? It's marked as an object we said. In computer terminology, an object is a 
object was a block of code that could be moved around and use, the way you might move a chair in a room. An object might be a set of commands to draw a picture, or to refresh the screen, or to perform a certain calculation. Let's see where it is in the code Arnold said. Maybe we can figure out what it does. He went to the program utilities and typed. The computer flashed back. Object not found in libraries. It doesn't exist, Arnold said. Then search the code listing, he said. Arnold typed. Find forward slash listings. WHTRBT.OBJ. The screen scrolled rapidly, the lines of code blurring as they swept past. It continued this way for almost a minute, and then abruptly stopped. There it is, we said. It's not an object, it's a command. The screen showed an arrow pointing to a single line of code. Curve equals get handle, ssm.dt, temp rgn, itm.dd2. Curve equals get handle, ssd.idme, temp rgn2, itm.dd4. On draw meter, gn, set shpval.ob2m, val, d, pistol. If valid meter, mh, asterisk asterisk mh, dot meter is return. If meter bank, pgt, draw back, type, return. Limit that dot four equals mag six, percent thirty three, two, limit zero four, set on. Limit that dot five equals set zero, set foot, zero, limit dot two bar, scp. On hit rbt dot ob call link dot sst, security, perimeter, set to off. Bert range equals max range plus set min, temp VGN, FDN and VB plus 404. Her range equals max range set min forward slash FDN and DD plus 1015. Void draw me to set screen dot OB create. Son of a bitch are not set. You shake his head. It isn't a bug in the code at all. No Arnold said. It's a trap door. The fat bastard put in what looked like an object call, but it's actually a command that links the security and perimeter systems and they turns them off. One on one. Gives him complete access to every place in the park. Then we must be able to turn them back on, we said. Yeah, we must. Arnold Brown has Next up, stage selection. All we have to do is get the temper. The stage is set. Right, it's time to select the character. Fighters have chosen their characters. It's time to go. Started from the bottom and I'll never look back. Look at all my haters. Y'all making a mess. Oh, looks like these two have more beef than a Philly cheesesteak. Let us begin. First ever Street Fighter 6 match. Default setting in first mode. All right, first round, what's going to happen? Player two pushes the opponent into the corner. Ooh, and it's gonna go in slow motion, but that's fine. I'll fix that later. Loses the projectile, the pressure of the attack. Throwing on even more pressure with the fireball. Tries to bait him with the projectile. There's a corner switch. Trips him up. Tons of drive and help to work with. Looking for a way to incorporate their drive. Plays on the pressure with the projectile. A dangerous range here. You don't want to get jumped on a long recovery move, or you're going to eat tons of damage. Player one creates a good corner opportunity. Throws them to negate the block. Sticks the jump in. Surprises them with a drive rush. Heading into the end game now. It's getting tense. Hmm. Taking through the super arc connect. Off for the level one Vulcan Blast. Still slugging it out at this range. K.O. Player one on the board first with the win. They'll want to keep the pressure on. Round two. Fight. Goes for the jump in to start. The next round is beginning. What's gonna happen now? Medium kick hits. Player 
one, he'll look to apply pressure here. He goes for the jump in. Player one is working with a better gauge. What can they do with it? Team two, Hadouken. Player two has the chance to win the round if they can put their drive to good use. Springs forward with the drive rush. The super doesn't hit. They're going for the super arc. Knockdown and player two needs to use the threat of the corner here. One chance getting in all on the drive rush. Not much life left, but they're driving the KO. Player one brings it home. Let's see if they can build themselves a streak. My simple listening slow down. See, just how peaceful today can be. Um, that's not even what I wanted to play. What's wrong? Yeah, I thought this would be good closing music for this episode. Um, that was really fun. Uh, try out Street Fighter Six. See what's going on. Maybe I'll do another episode after I iron out all the technical problems, like no slow motion, and I need to be able to enter my name or else I'm going to have issues. Um, thanks so much for swinging by. It was good fun. Catch you guys on the flip side. Hey, bye. Shoot. I'll do that again. Hey, bye.
have to I have to hang up the, because I can't see what's going on with the sound. Hang on. I couldn't hear the sound because we were in a video call. 